Welcome back. Now what we need to do is that we need to create the file that will get re the response from the database, that will, would respond to the user. So here I'm going to create a new file and then I'm going to name it chatbot.php. And the first thing that we need to do is that we need to open the PHP uh, script here, PHP. And then obviously we need to connect to the database because without connecting the Connecting to the database, we will not be able to get responses. So in order to connect to the database, remember we have this config file. We need to say we need to include it here. So we need to say include, and then I'm gonna say I'm gonna say config dot php. This uh, include is going to get that file that code from the config and add it here. So now we can connect to the database. The, the next step is that we need to get the, the, the text message that the user sent. So we need to get it from the index. Remember in the index here, in the index we have, we have the make request function. Actually, the, uh, the function is in the main.js. In the main.js we have the make request. This function will connect to the chatbot. So this function will send the message from the JavaScript to PHP. So the message is this, message text. So the message is message text. And in order to send this message from here to the to PHP, we need here to pass the URL. So the URL is chatbot.php. So we need to say here chatbot.php. And then since this is, this is a get request, we need to say question mark and then we need to give this a key. We need to give it a parameter, uh, a key. I'm going to say message. So message is going to be equal to, and then we can append the message. So the message is message text. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say here plus, and then message text. Now this message text will be stored in a, in a parameter called message, in a get parameter. And now this this chatbot.php uh, file, PHP will be able to recognize this message. We'll be able to get that message. So let me save now, and let's head on over to PHP. Now PHP will be able to get that message. And in order for PHP to get that message, PHP should use the get uh, the get uh, parameter. So the get here we need to say get, and then the value. Uh, and then the the key that that we stored the the value in. So we stored the value, we stored the message text in a key called message. So we should say here get message. This is going to get us the message. However, we cannot get the message like this immediately because sometimes there might be uh, there there might not be any message. So we we first need to check whether we have a message or not. So we need to use if statement. I'm going to say if, and then is set is set and then get message if this message is set meaning that if we have the message if user sends a message then we can here continue and then we can send this message to, to the database in order to get a response so this is the first step so let me add here a comment so that you understand i'm going to say here if user sends a message then get it so in order to get the message now we need to say here again get and then message and then I'm gonna store it in a variable called message message is equal to get message now we got the message and store it stored it in a variable called message the next step is that we need to to uh, take this message and send it to the database to compare it with the text field. So we need to, here in the database, we need to compare the message with this with this field. So if the message is high, we need to compare it with one of these in order to get a, a response. So now here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say my, uh, first I'm going to use the connection, con, because we need to remember this config.php has this variable con so we need to say here con and then we need to call a function called prepare prepare and we need to type 
uh, SQL uh, command that would connect to the database and, and compare that message with the with this message, with, with one of these messages, in order to get a response. So I'm going to say here, here I'm going to say select, select, what do we want to get? We want to get a response. So I'm going to say select response, select response from, from which table? From the messages table. From messages, where, where text, where this text, where this text text is equal to question mark which is gonna this question mark and I'm gonna replace it with this message and then we need to say limit one because we want to limit the result to one we want to get only one response we cannot we we, we don't want to get so many responses we only want, want one response so now here by the way I should say messages because the name of the table is messages uh, now we need to replace this question mark with this message. So we need to say here, uh, we need to store this first in a variable called statement. I'm going to say stmt is equal to this. And then I'm going to say stmt. And then I'm going to call a function called bind param. And then it takes two parameters. The first parameter is the data type, which is a string, because this message is a string. The second parameter is the message itself, message. So this function bind param is going to replace this question mark with this message. So the statement is going to be select select response from messages where text message is equal to quiz, uh, is equal to message and then limit to one because we want to get only one response. So now we are done with this part.